Hello and welcome. In this tutorial you will learn how to manage and label your images and then use them to train and evaluate a model for global context anomaly detection using the MVTech deep learning tool. If you do not know what exactly global context anomaly detection is, we recommend you to watch the video global context anomaly detection by MVTech before watching this tutorial. As with all deep learning based technologies featured in the MVTech portfolio. The workflow for global context anomaly detection can be divided into data management and labeling, training, evaluation and inference. For the global context anomaly detection, all steps except inference can be performed in the deep learning tool. For inference either Merlick or Halkin is required. In this example, we want to detect structural and logical anomalies on these juice bottles. You can find this application inside the deep learning tool as an example project. As we jump into the deep learning tool, we find ourselves in the projects tab. Here we see several example projects, including the aforementioned global context anomaly detection project. However, we want to start from scratch. We click new project and make sure to select anomaly detection as deep learning method. We name our project inspection of juice bottles. Specify a save path. And click create project. The next step is to import our data and label it. We import our images using the add image folder button. The deep learning tool imports each subfolder within the selected folder and suggests labels based on our folder names and structure. You can adapt which folders should be labeled as good and which should be labeled as anomaly. For our project, the suggested labels are suitable. We simultaneously import and label our images by clicking Import and Label Images. In the Gallery tab you can look through your images and adjust their labels, which are indicated by small colored boxes with either a thumbs up for good or a thumbs down for an anomaly. By double-clicking one of the images, we switch to the Image tab where we can step through our images one by one. Inside the Review tab we can check our labeling. You can zoom your images for better visibility. To get an overview of the distribution of your data across the different labels, open the label statistics. Please note, to train a global context anomaly detection model only good images are necessary. The provided anomaly images will only be used in the validation and testing of our model and will result in better adjusted anomaly thresholds. Before we train our model, we need to split our data. To do this, we switch to the Split tab and click on Create Split. In our case, the preset values are suitable. The split of our data is based on a random seed. To ensure the same split, we have to set the same seed value. For our tutorial, we use the seed value of 1. You can see that only good images are used in the training split. Anomaly images are only used for the validation and testing of our model. With our data organized in splits, we are ready to start our training. We go to the training tab and click on create model. After creating our model, we can adjust the training parameters. You can specify which network should be used in your training. Only the global network. Only the local network. Or both. For this tutorial, we will use both networks. Since our images are twice as high as they are wide, we adjust the image width accordingly. The other configurations will be left to their default values. We begin our training by clicking on Start Training. The training will take a while. You can follow the training progress by looking at the loss graph in the F1 score graph. The loss should decrease as the training progresses. A perfect result for the F1 score would be 1, so a value close to 1 indicates a good model performance. After we have completed our training, we can switch to the Evaluation tab to evaluate our trained model. 
we begin the evaluation by clicking on Start Evaluation. On the Overview tab you can see the detailed evaluation results, divided into the classes, Good, Logical Anomaly and Structural Anomaly. Under Confusion Matrix you see a direct comparison of the predicted classes and the ground truth classes. The confusion matrix can be used to quickly check for mislabeled images or systematic errors in our model results. By clicking into the confusion matrix, you can display the relevant images. Turn on the heat map to better understand why an image is classified the way it is by the model. This image was predicted as anomaly but its true label class is good. If we inspect the heat map we can see the global context anomaly detection is detecting an anomaly in an area not relevant for our inspection. We can fix this issue by defining a region of interest. To define a region of interest, click on configure post processing. Here we check the box restrict domain and use the draw tool to define our region. Restricting the domain of our image has no impact on processing times, as inference is still done on the whole image. Restricting the domain lets us exclude areas from the decision-making of our network. However, this only fixes one classification error. We still have two anomaly images wrongly classified as good images. Let's say for your production it is better to detect all anomalies and have a few false positives, so that no bad parts are passed on to further production. So let us adjust our anomaly threshold accordingly. To make adjusting the thresholds easier, we zoom the score histogram. By lowering the anomaly threshold, our global context anomaly detection gets more sensitive to anomalies. This results in no anomaly images being predicted as good and a few good images wrongly predicted as anomaly. If you are satisfied with your trained model, you can export it right here by clicking Export Model for inference. Directly below, you can also export the evaluation report. The exported report contains all the information found on the evaluation tab and can be easily shared. This concludes this video. The next step would be the inference of the global context anomaly detection with either Halkin or Merlick. For more information about the inference of global context anomaly detection and how to import your trained model into Halkin or Merlick, check out our additional tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.